Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to add three-dimensional vectors using MATLAB. Now let us start writing the code here. So to begin with, I will declare two commands. One is CLC, that is for clearing the contents of the command window. And the second command is clear all. This is for clearing the contents of the variables. Now we will write three lines of code for calling three vectors. So let me just write v1 is equal to input within the brackets and within the single quotes you just type enter vector v1 then let me just copy this content and paste it here and change this v1 to v2 and here also the v2 for uh, calling vector 2. Then I will make one more copy of that and I will write here v3 and here v3. So this line will be used to call the vector 3. Now the next step what I am going to do is I just want to add this v1, v2 and v3 vectors. So to do that I will just write here p is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3. Now I have to plot this v1, v2, v3 and the sum vector on a graph. So to do that let me just write a command figure semicolon then we can write here q u I V E R. This is a quiver 3 command which is used to plot a vector on the graph. So for that quiver 3 within the brackets we will write here 0 comma 0 comma 0. So this 0 comma 0 comma 0 indicates where the vector has to start. So in this case I am starting the vector from origin. Then we will add here the x component, y component and z component of vector 1. So to do that, let me just write v1 of 1, comma, v1 of 2, comma, v1 of 3 here. Then put a semicolon. Now we will use another command hold on. Once this vector 1 is plotted on the graph, so we have to retain it for plotting the second vector, third vector and the sum vector. Next let me just copy these two lines of code and paste it here. Now here let me just write instead of v1 let me just change this to v2 in all the places. Similarly, one more time I will paste it here and I will change this to v3 in the place of v1. So now this will plot the vector 1, vector 2 and vector 3. Now to plot the total vector, let me just make one more copy and change here this v1 to t and similarly here so this place v1 to t and here we can change it to t. Now this four sets of code will uh, plot v1 vector, v2 vector, v3 vector and t vector onto the graph. Now let us add labels and titles to the graph. To do that let us add x label Within the brackets, we can enter x axis, similarly y label, here we can enter y axis and z label with z axis. Finally, we will give 
the title for the graph that is title within brackets and single quotes you can give addition of 3d vectors and plotting this ends our coding part now let us run this code to get the graph so click on this run and you can see on the command window it is asking for us to enter the values of vector 1 so here i will enter the x y z components of vector 1 within the square brackets let me just write here minus 2 3 and 4 similarly it will ask for the second vector x y z components so for that i will enter here 9 2 7 then the third vector components so i'll enter here minus 2 4 7 then it will calculate the sum and it will plot vector 1 vector 2 vector 3 along with the sum on a three dimensional graph so here you can see a 3d graph which is plotted and you can just hover your mouse to check which vector is what so here if i just click on this you can see here it is minus 2 comma 3 comma 4 that is my first vector that i have entered here then i have my second vector here you can see here this is 9 comma 2 comma 7 this is my second vector and i have entered minus 2 comma 4 comma 7 that is this vector you can see here minus 2 comma 4 comma 7 now after adding these three vectors the resultant vector is plotted here you can see this vector is having the x component as y and y component as 9 and z component as 18 That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you.